welcome, welcome, welcome back, everyone, to another week of our Friday prayer sessions here at the Kingdom Church with your host, your minister, your prophet, Gary Rojas. Hopefully, your week has been blessed and you have been increasing in learning. Today, we are going to get into our prayer sessions, but before we go ahead and do that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified every week when we post and be updated when we have new content or if you've been invited so that way you can make sure to do that. And as I'm speaking, you can go ahead and click the like button right now. Just toggle and do it because it does help. But without further ado, this will be a quick one. I'm just going to introduce what the Spirit gave to me, and then we'll pray concerning that, and then we'll close. So let's get situated. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for this day. I want to thank you for everything that you are doing in our lives that you do continually to prosper us, to keep us. And we just give you thanks, Lord, for that. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. So begin to pray right now for this next month, which is the month of hope. That is what I heard loud and clear, without any doubt, that this month is the month of hope, November. And we might be doing, most importantly, maybe this Friday or next Friday, uh, Saturday, I'm sorry, Saturday, Sunday, this Sunday or next Sunday, um, starting sermons on that, right? And sort of revealing to you what the Holy Spirit um, is doing. Because you have to remember that what we do here, what we pray, it's not just some ordinary thing. It's just not something, oh, we, we pray every Friday. If you think like that, then you're going to be mistaken, right? You're going to miss a lot of things. If you would take my advice, in the same notebook that you use for your sermons, just write the Friday prayer session down, date it, and then what we prayed for. And that should be your confessions throughout the week, so that way you can experience the change in your life. Amen. So we've been praying a lot about, you know, you being enhanced, more disciplined, without distractions, because of the preparation which is needed. So we're just going to do a short one. So begin to pray that your spirit, and I want you to continue in this mode of prayer for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that your spirit be opened and ready to receive what is to be ministered in the start of this new season. Lord, my spirit is open, and I'm ready and willing to receive all the things that you have prepared for me in this new season that we are entering into with your prophet, with that voice which you speak to us weekly. That you are ready for those new levels. You are ready to go into that new realm. I am ready for this new month that all the things that I have been hoping for, I will see the genesis in this coming month. Everything that you have been hoping for, you shall see the stem, the seed, the genesis of it. It's the start of something new, something fresh in this new season. That the Lord is going to be doing. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. Lord, we just want to give you thanks for that thing which you are doing in our lives. This season that you are ushering us into. 
the wisdom, the knowledge, the intelligence, the, the fervor that you are depositing into our spirits as we move on and as we go and journey along this path that we are on. You see, the things of the spirit, they are very difficult. Because I know what happens. When you look at the viewers, there's only like 80 to 90 that show up every Friday. But out of those 80 to 90, there's only a small percentage that stay to the very end. YouTube tells me the retention rate of how many percent of the viewers stay to the very end. So I know that all the people, the members and the viewers, are not the ones that are changing. It's only a select few that are being changed by the word that we minister here and that are constantly praying, which is fine. Because you have to remember that when I pray, when we pray here, it's the Holy Spirit that is praying and that's declaring and that's decreeing. It's not me. See, the thing is, you think you see me and you think it's me. No, I myself, after we finish here, have to put myself in remembrance of what the Holy Spirit said so I with my spirit can catch what the divinity in me has expelled so then that way I can then go out and apply it in the coming weeks so I can see the manifestation of what was being released. So I am the leader of this. I'm the first one that takes what's being said here seriously and then goes to apply it as we've been praying for the discipline, the distractions and all these things. I have been seeing it in my own life. I've been taking it. I'm being more disciplined. I'm removing all distractions. I have even entered into fasts. This is what I do. I even enter into fasts sometimes along the week for the things that the Spirit released in this time so I don't miss it. That's how serious I take this thing. Because the Bible says, when you pray, when you give, when you fast. So you should be fasting as often as you give and as you pray. Because when you enter into a fast, you're not changing God. Most people think that when I enter into a fast, I'm changing God to give me something. No. God is the same before you fasted, when you're fasting, and after you fast. It doesn't change. He's the immutable God. The one who is changing is you. You are realigning your spirit with the things that you are supposed to be aligned with in the season that you are in. So it's a recalibration method. You know when you have to like calibrate an equipment or they have to say calibrate that because it's off. It's not in tune. So what you do is you fast every time you feel like there's something off. So you recalibrate. Then you begin to realize, wait, I'm like that all the time. I feel like there's something wrong or something off all the time. Which then means you should be fasting every time you sense that. Now that fast, it doesn't have to necessarily be like a whole day or two days. You, you then, what you do is you take, thank you Holy Spirit, you take your anointing oil that you have specifically for that. You anoint yourself and say, I'm entering into the fast for this thing that you want me to enter into. Because you just don't quite know what it is. That's why you enter into the fast so you can know what it is. And just even if it's an hour, two hour, three hour fast, you receive the revelation. Oh, that's what that was. I will do it. Then you can exit the fast. Some of them require lengthy days. But people don't, maybe we need to do another sermon on fasting. Maybe we'll, we'll throw that in there in this month of hope. We'll see. Because everything is at the discretion of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Holy Spirit, for depositing that into this prayer session. You've hidden it in here. Only for those that are constantly, always viewing, can receive. So that's my advice and my counsel. Write down just a few bullet points in those notes. We prayed about this. No, November is the month of hope. This is the month where we are going to start the beginning, the genesis of the things that we hoped for. We also discussed fasting a little bit, what it is. I should probably enter. So what do you do? You're learning. So that way you can apply the things that you received here in the week. So you can be on track, as we'll discuss in this coming sermon. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. Zik subalaktiax kaza jabrahadias kadabra axios. Alaxa braktias, and just begin to give thanks to the Lord as we finish here. As I said, this was going to be a short one. Kelek sutu braksa xiax sejas a hito ubrahava hazit. I give you thanks, Lord. We give you thanks that we get to congregate each and every single week here with the members and the viewers all around the world to pray so that our lives can be changed. My father says that protocol, he explains it the best way. If prayer is like protocol that goes out into your future to rearrange your destiny, to go into place, to situate, to build, to destroy, it does everything, destroys the plans of the enemies, thwarts it, then builds all the rudiments, gives you the provision, the resources and everything. It, it puts everything into place so that way when you step into it, prayer is already accumulated and set everything in position. That's what we do here each and every single week, so don't take it for granted. And for some of you, it might be even moving into the area so you can have your hand held. Because I'm telling you, this is the season where I'm now projected. Where you should be, if you have been following along with us, have had something. Because what's going to happen is you might be the one who tells the story. I was there in the beginning, in, in the, when he first started. Yeah, but you haven't changed. You're still the same. Whereas if you were following along and not miles back, but you were just a few centimeters or a few meters back and not tens of miles behind every time, you would have then entered into prosperity as we are entering into. And I'm also receiving and downloading in this season what the Holy Spirit wants to declare and prophesy the year 2024 to be for this church. So I'm also, you know, waiting to hear that, and I believe I've already heard it. But I'm, I'm sort of, I guess... What I'm waiting for is the exact terminology, the exact wording, because everything is always precise and it has to be. Man, I love prayer. And I love fasting. And I love Jesus. Amen. The best place you can possibly be is to be in church. And even better if you can be locally and physically. Because then you get to constantly be in the atmosphere of the prophet. You get a rub off of that anointing, of, especially with the season that I'm going to be entering into. You would get to visit and to come here. And, and when we have our headquarters, you would be able to come and visit the headquarters because that's where I would be at any time of the day. There's a lot of things that are happening in this season which I'm very excited and waiting for. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we just want to give you thanks for your mercy, for your glory, and for your praise, for everything that you do in our lives to prosper us, to keep us, to hold us. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we give you thanks, glory, and praise. Amen and amen. That's going to be it. Very short this Friday. But my recommendation for every future Fridays is this. That when we pray, write it down somewhere, keep it in your notes, in your phone. And as Friday comes, Saturday, until Sunday, you are praying for your spirit to be strategically opened so that it may be able to receive what is going to be released for the start of the new week. So that way you can walk in that spirit. That's how you progress. That's how you change. Because... Uh, there is so much coming. Discipline is increasing, and I've already started. 
Discipline is increasing, and I've already started. There is something new happening in this house. There is something new happening, starting, taking place, that's going to happen. We are going to get more disciplined, more serious. In all areas and aspects, and I'm looking forward to it. Because I'm moving in that vision which I saw on Sunday while I was praying in church. Right? It's now when I receive something. You see, when you receive something from the Lord, you then have to now begin to make steps or uh, progress towards that thing which He has shown you. That's faith. The moment you start to take steps and actions towards the things that the Lord has shown you, that takes faith. It takes courage, boldness. So you are putting your faith to practice. And that is what we are going to be doing. All right, so that's going to be it for this week's Friday prayer session, and I'll see each and every single one of you guys um, this coming Sunday for our Sunday service. Hope to see you there. God bless.